Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan S front wheel drive. This particular one is pure white on the exterior. It has black cloth seats on the interior. Being that it's front wheel drive, it will have three rows of seats, LED turn signals, LED reverse lights, LED tail lights, faux exhaust tips at the back back here that are now black in color and are molded into the bumper and they're clearly faux exhaust tips. Uh, then you do also have the new Volkswagen logo right there and then it says Tiguan right below it. Black roof rails, window sills are now all black all the way around and these are your new alloy wheels kind of similar to what's on the uh, base Atlas. Hard plastic cladding down here at the base of the door here and there's a little bit of flare right here on the uh, door right here from the door into the front quarter panel. Those much more aggressive LED headlights and a lot more cladding down here at the base. The new Volkswagen logo right here as well. And these are LED uh, lights. These are the chamber lights here, similar to what's on the Jetta. Keyless entry is now added to the front two seats, front two doors, I should say. And as we open up here, here's a look at the inset. Kind of a metallic finish right here on the door panel right into the door lock here and these are your cloth seats they're 100 manual you pump this guy up to move the seat forward and back or down and then this adjusts your seat back just like in the jetta manual headrest right there leather armrest in the middle and let's take a look through here's a look at the seats in the back manual headrest there nice setup and as we climb in here, digital cockpit is now standard on every Volkswagen Tiguan. This is the uh, non-configurable uh, instrument cluster. It has three views. This is your combo view here. Then you have the speed view and a tachometer view here. Um, the combo view is probably what you'll go with. This is similar to what's in the Taos. Uh, it's now standard all the way across uh, the Tiguan lineup. Uh, and if you go with an SELR line, you're going to get the uh, digital con uh, digital uh, pro cockpit. Uh, the vents, everything's all set up the same. It's very linear across here, uh, flat there, little storage bin here. Uh, you have an auto dimming mirror right here. A leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel here. Since you have the IQ package, you're going to get that on this one. Uh, that's going to be specific to whether you have the IQ package or not. Um, then you have a coin box for storage right here, automatic headlights, the window set up here, one touch up, one touch down as usual, um, and then the power mirrors and heated mirrors there. Um, over here, you get the three dial rotary set up for uh, climate control, but you do get heated seats now. The heated seats are nice, a nice add, and you can have heated seats with a cloth seat. The backup camera is going to be a static camera. The green line just signifies straight back. Red line signifies where your bumper is. Uh, you get the regular uh, MIB2 radio, the, the composite color radio, which is AM and FM. No CD player, no satellite or anything of that sort. Uh, but it is still touchscreen here, so you can change the station here. Um, and then you do have App Connect, which will allow you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink using one of those two USB-C connections right there. There's also a 12-volt charger port right there. And then there's a phone tray right here for storage. Push button start is new for the Tiguan S uh, for 2022. Uh, you haven't seen that since 2017, uh, right before the limited, the Tiguan Limited came out. Um, and then you do have the automatic, the electronic parking brake. You just lift up on there to start it or de engage it, and you put your foot on the brake and push down to release it. SD card reader right here at the base of the, the stereo here, over in the glove box. There's room for your manuals there. There's not really anything else in there. This pattern continues across. Uh, you have four vents up front here. And then over here, it continues into the door panel over here too. That contrast stitching is picked up in the door, the armrest here. And here's a look at that manual seat. And this was reminiscent of the 2014 Golf TDI with the seats here that were still heated. Uh, and the Golf GTI, where you could get heated seats with cloth seats. Storage arm right here in the armrest here. Your cup holder is just like it is in the Jetta and it's been in the Tiguan before. It hasn't really changed. You get that fat key here with the switchblade. 
key fob there. Uh, panic alarm and all that is right on the front. This just unlocks the hatch. It's not a power lift gate. And then you have the, the unlock buttons here. Auto start stop shut off is right there. So that's, that's unchanged as well. The shifter is new, just like in Taos. You're gonna have this shifter now with the backlit top. So it's hard to see there, but it's lit up the P for park. Um, but you do have that new shifter now. There's a look at the back again. Let's take a look at the back row. This one comes in at 28,480. Extras are gonna include 895 for that IQ drive, which adds travel assist, uh, which uh, gives you adaptive cruise control, lane assist, emergency assist, in case you have a medical emergency. Um, also, uh, monster mats, which add um, 310 bucks here, along with roadside assistance kit, a monster mat, heavy duty trunk liner. Um, actually, the IQ drive stuff is, uh, there's another 310 in here for front assist, rear traffic alert, and all of that stuff there. Roadside assistance kit is 85 bucks. And then down below, 28480. This car's dusty. It's kind of hard to read that window sticker with the sun shining in your eyes. There's a look at the second row seats there. Now, of course, they're not going to be heated, but you have car seat hookups here and here. A vent set up even in the S model right here. And then you have a 12-volt charger port right there, that little cubby right there, but no USB-C back here. Your USB-Cs are only going to be up front. There's a look at that instrument cluster, that digital cockpit, a, the radio there, gear shift, all of that right there. Two dome lights up above right here they're led your seat belt adjuster right there and with these seats being this is a three row setup there's a little handle right here you lift up cup the seat slide it forward and then these are your fold up seats right here if i can get them to go up here with one hand there you go there's a look at that seat now this seat sits close to the floor so as i said before you're not going to put an adult back here you'll put maybe a 12 year old back here but that's about the extent of that this seat will also fold up right here if i can get it up right there there is a look at those third row seats i will make a video as requested with peyton in it she's my assistant she's not with me today so uh, i won't be able to have her here and then there's a pass-through button right here so you have a pass-through from the front to the back and if those seats are folded down it just continues into the cargo area there there's a look at those alloy wheels and then the manual lift gate back here we'll fold these seats back down so you can see that just push down on this guy right here and those seats go flat cargo blocks are right here monster mats are also right here roadside assistance kit and you do have seat pulls here so you can pull and that seat will fold flat pull and that seat will fold flat you just push to click in place and then all of this area here is continuous cargo space back here underneath the floor there's your spare tire right there and you have an extra bag hook right here and an led trunk light now that's an upgrade it used to be an incandescent bulb and then there's a manual handle here this does have hydraulic assist so it would close help open uh, once you get it halfway it opens up the rest of the way and also it's easy to close this car comes with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen that's four years 50,000 miles that also includes uh, two years of free maintenance so your 10 and 20,000 mile oil changes are covered by Volkswagen and if you buy from me in Bomberito St. Peter's here in St. Louis you can get a 10-year 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty as well as a third year of free maintenance if you're interested in this car or any other like it, please give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.